So in this video, I'm going to explain the procedure of performing the air purge test. A couple reasons why we might do this is if we have hooked up the tractor to the planter for the first time and or if we've rehooked the tractor up after doing some other sort of field work and need to purge the air out of the hydraulic system. The reason why we need to do this is if we don't, there will be air in the system and our downforce can perform erratically. So to do that, with the tractor off, so there's no pressure, we're gonna take in one of these valves here, normally they're found on our end rows or on a mounted planter like this, there might be some in the middle sections as well. This is what these valves look like. We're gonna take this hose that comes with each planter and we're gonna stick it in. Make sure it snaps. And then we're gonna to go to the tractor and perform the air purge test on the screen. In the cab on the Gen 4 screen, I'm going to access my air purge test. And I'm gonna do that by finding a page with the tools button. I will select that. And then I'm gonna to go to the planter diagnostics and calibrations. And then I'm going to go to procedures. And then I'm going to go to the air purge test. We want to make sure that our hydraulic fluid temperature is greater than 120 degrees for best results. If we need to heat up the oil, we can always do that by running the CCS fan or a vacuum, something that will build pressure. And then I will hit begin procedure and it gives some prereqs that must be met. Planter must be stationary, hydraulic pressure between 100 and 1500 PSI, and our engine must be on. Then I'll hit next to continue. Then I can select the rows that I want to purge. A lot of times I'll just do the whole planter. So in this case here, it's a 12 row planter. I'll hit next. And then it will start and do the outside rows first and work towards the middle. As we can see, the rows that pass are green. If for some reason they would fail, they would be red. So we want to wait till all rows are green. And then test will be successful. We'll hit OK. And then we'll go back outside the cab to remove our hose after we shut the tractor off. All right, so now that I've done the air purge test on the screen, I shut the tractor off. Then I'm going to take and unhook this hose and put it in a safe storage position where I know it's at because I will need it again. The other test that I like to see performed before starting in the season is the valve test. In order to do that, we need to make sure we have our air purge hose unhooked. The importance of doing the valve test is it's testing this valve and we can see if one of the valves are bad even before we go to the field. Because if one of them is bad, this row unit will have no downforce at all. So that's the importance of checking it. In the cab, in order to do the valve test, I'm going to find a page with a tools button and select that for my planter tools. Then I'm going to go to my planter diagnostics and calibrations. And then I'm gonna to go to procedures. And then I'm going to find my valve test. The hydraulic fluid temperature must be greater than 120 degrees for accurate results. So once again, I can turn a vacuum on or CCS blower to heat my oil up if it's not warm enough. I'll hit begin procedure. And the prereqs are shown that must be met, engine must be on, planter must be stationary and hydraulic pressure needs to be greater than what it is now. So I'm just going to deadhead an SCV 
in order to achieve that. And then I'm going to hit next. And I can select the rows that I want to do. So in this case, I'm just going to do the whole planter, rows 1 through 12, and hit next. And then it will go ahead and perform the test. And it will start by working from the outside rows inward. So what we want to see is all of the rows turn green. If for some reason that they don't turn green, they'll be red, that means they failed. At that point, we would go ahead and redo the test, only isolating those rows. So let's say row 11 failed, we'd want to test row through 10 through 12. In this case, the test was successful, all the rows are green, so we're going to hit OK, and then exit our screens, and that completes the valve test.